Hi, I'm Steve, and mushrooms absolutely changed my life. They made it so much better, and it's one of the great thrills of my 58 years on this planet. I stroke my white beard to show you all the years. Is teaching others how to grow mushrooms. I mean, to me, this is worship, and if others want to worship with mushrooms, then I am very happy to share how to do it. People are intimidated by it, and it is really easy. I mean, remember, how do nature, how do mushrooms grow in nature? Well, you put them in shit and keep them in the dark and you grow mushrooms. So really, it, it, now there are a lot of things in nature they're adapted to. So here, we create a sterile environment because we have to. Um, so let me show you some basics of a kit. This is a kit that we put together for the Divine Assembly. There are a lot of great kits out there. I think you don't want to spend initially a lot of money on a tent, a humidifier, uh, you know, a, a heating pad, all of these things, until you have kind of made an attempt, and then you'll know what you need, what don't you need. You'll see when I grow, um, I, I rarely use gloves, I rarely use a mask, because a lot of the stuff you don't need. Other things you do need. I mean, if you can afford a tent and a humidifier and all that, that's great. But have a grow under your belt, a simple grow, so you'll know what kind you want to get. Okay, does that make sense? So what we do in ours, we have instructions, so you're going to want someone to walk you through. And then what we do is we give people basically two chances to succeed. Because if you grow one mushroom, right, three mushrooms, you're a wizard. You've done it. You're like, okay, I can do this. So we put our spores in two syringes, and then we have two uh, sterile grain jars. These are oats that have been soaked and uh, strained and pressure cooked. And uh, here's the injection port you'll inject them into. Here's the fair air exchange. Notice we give you two extra fresh, I said fair, fresh air exchanges so you can start your next grow. Gloves so you can use, mask. And then both of these should be good. The place where people have difficulties is they don't keep these warm enough. Keep them 78 degrees and they will turn white with great mycelium. Then at that point, if you have both jars that are ready to go into the fruiting stage, then you can use both bags of substrate. You put boiling water in them, we tell you how much. You put them in your grow tub, put in both jars. If you only have one jar that's good, then you use one jar, and this actually can be part of your casing material, which we cover in one of our videos. I hope you like those videos, those instructive videos. My daughter and I had a blast making them. And so, alcohol pads, cute little sticker for you, TDA sticker for you, and then a mister. And so, when you move it into the chamber, you know, at first for a few days, you'll just keep the lid on, keep the humidity that's there when you uh, pasteurized your substrate. But then when it turns white and it's ready to fruit, you're going to move it to a slightly cooler place and you're gonna create a terrarium for it to keep it nice and humid. Because that is a place where you struggle. When it's in the fruiting chamber, you're controlling temperature and you're controlling uh, humidity. And uh, so with this and remember you want it to be like 80 85 percent relative humidity so it was mist 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 keep it cloudy and keep this wet and then you'll see the mushrooms grow and you will be a mushroom growing wizard